So now that we have seen all the different types of trigonometric identities and the formulae and also the trigonometric ratios at some specific angles, let us now discuss a few examples. We shall start with a few basic ones and these are some of the questions that have been asked in the earlier SSC CGL exams. Let's look at the first example. It says sine squared 25 degrees plus sine squared 65 degrees is equal to what? Now obviously we have no idea about what sine 25 degrees is or sine 65 degrees is right. We know uh, the trigonometric ratio of sine only at some specific angles like 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 45 degrees and so on right. So there is no point in trying to substitute the value of sine 25 or sine 65 in the equation and simplifying it to get the required answer. We need to instead go ahead and use some trigonometric identity or trigonometric uh, formula to arrive at the required answer. So let's see what can be done here to get the answer. Now uh, let's let's take sine square 25 as it is sine square 25 degrees plus now if you look at this particular uh, trigonometric ratio sine square 65 this can be expressed as sine square of 90 minus 25 degrees yes or no 90 minus 25 is 65 so sine square 65 can be taken as sine square 90 minus 25 and we very well know that the trigonometric ratio changes for 90 plus or minus theta right so sine squared 90 minus 25 will become cos squared 25 because 90 minus theta will be in first quadrant so sine is positive and because it is 90 it would become cos right or if it is 270 then also it becomes cos right so going by that logic we can say this is equal to sine squared 25 degrees plus cos squared 25 degrees cos squared 25 degrees and we know that sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. Whatever be the value of theta, sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1, which is the basic trigonometric identity. So going by that, we can say that this is equal to 1. So the answer for this question has to be option B1. And I'm sure you need not put down these steps on paper to arrive at the required answer, right? If you have got the right logic, you can just visualize the steps and mark the answer as option B1 within no time, all right? The other way to do it is convert sine square 25. Here we have converted sine square 65 as cos square 65, cos square 25. Otherwise, sine square 25 can be expressed as cos square 65. Even in that case, what do we get? Cos square 65 degrees plus sine square 65 degrees equals to 1. All right. Moving on to the next one, right? It says cos power 4 theta minus sine power 4 theta equals to 2 by 5 then 1 minus 2 sine square theta equals to what right so cos power 4 theta minus sine power 4 theta is 2 by 5 and from this equation we need to establish what is 1 minus 2 sine square theta well if you observe the right left hand side part of the equation here cos power 4 theta minus sine power 4 theta this is in the form a square minus b square and we know that a square minus b square can be taken as a plus b into a minus b right this is basic algebraic identity right a square minus b square equals to a plus b into a minus b so let us express cos power 4 theta minus sine power 4 theta in the form of a plus b into a minus b what do we get we get cos square theta plus sine square theta into cos square theta minus sine square theta equals to 2 by 5 yes or no a in our case is cos square theta cos square theta whole square will give us cos power 4 theta likewise sin square theta whole square will give us sin power 4 theta so a is cos square theta and b is sin square theta so a plus b cos square theta plus sin square theta and a minus b cos square theta minus sin square theta now this cos square theta plus sin square theta into cos square theta minus sin square theta equals to 2 by 5 we very well know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 so this will be equal to 1 and 1 into cos square theta minus sin square theta is 2 by 5 right same identity cos square theta plus sin square theta equals to 1 so going by that this becomes 1 now we are left with cos square theta minus sin square theta on the left hand side which is equal to 2 by 5 again using the same identity what is that sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 so from this we can say that cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta right cos square theta can be expressed as 1 minus sin square theta so let us replace this cos square theta with 1 minus sin square theta what do we get 1 minus sin square theta minus sin square theta equals to 2 by 5 again if you look at the left hand side it is 1 minus 
2 sin square theta which is what is required as per the given question 1 minus 2 sin square theta equals to 2 by 5 so the answer for this question has to be 2 by 5 1 minus 2 sin square theta equals to 2 by 5 likewise the question may be asked in the other form of it right instead of giving 1 minus 2 sin square theta the question may say what is 2 cos square theta minus 1 going by a similar process we get 2 cos square theta minus 1 also as 2 by 5 so basically it's about using those algebraic uh, algebraic formulae a plus b into a minus b equals to a square minus b square and the basic trigonometric identities like sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 to arrive at the answers for such questions and i'm sure that even example 2 can be solved without having to put pen on paper or at least we can cut down a few steps here and arrive at the answer much faster than what we have seen here all right so make sure that you remember all those formulae from algebra and trigonometry so that you can cut down these steps try to visualize the steps and only write what is important on paper so that you arrive at the answer really quick